Hey, in the previous video we set up Microsoft Store for Business App and we imported two apps, Company Portal and Power BI Desktop. In this video we're gonna create the machine where we potentially could push this software because if you look on their devices, if you have set up a new one, it probably show empty and to have apps and no um, devices to deploy to is less fun. If you already have a Windows uh, device that you will use for this, then you can skip this video. In this video, we're just going to create a Hyper-V host in Windows 11 that we can uh, after use for autopilot. And in the video after this one, we're going to extract a hardware ID, which is a requirement, not a really requirement, but good for autopilot. So let's create um, Hyper-V host. So for that, we need Hyper-V already installed, and I already have that. But uh, um, turn Windows and Features on and off if you don't already have that. I'm just showing quickly what needs to be done. And you just go down here to Hyper-V, check these two, and it's going to ask you to restart. And once you are restarted, come back here. Once you have that installed, we'll go to Hyper-V Manager. And I... Ignore these two machines that is already there since before. Going to create a new one, a new virtual machine. And in this wizard, we click on next, put the name. I'm going to call mine GBN uh, Win11 cl uh, Client. And I'm not going to store it in a different location. Normally I do, but let's keep it simple. Generation. Here it's important that you choose Generation 2 if you're doing Windows 11 because we want UFI based in order that we can have a safe boat and uh, a lot of other features that it's a requirement like a TPM chip. So Generation 2, next, assign memory. I'm going for about 16 uh, gigabyte. It's a bit less actually. That's more than enough. My network, I'm going to use the default switch and the hard drive. I'm gonna take that one down a bit. You can keep the default one. I think 80 gigabyte gonna be enough for me. And I have an ISO I'm gonna be using, uh, Windows 11. You can get your own uh, 90 or is 180 days for freeze. We just need this for testing anyway. And finish, ready to go. We have a few things we have to modify before we start this one up. So I'm gonna select this one then go under here and do settings and if we go under security excellent secure boot is enabled but we also need trusted platform module if we have windows 11 which i am i'm going to check this one i'm not exactly sure what it does it seems extra security and encryption so memory is good processor yeah that's also a requirement you need the probably minimum two i'm going to pump it up to uh, four virtual and the rest should be good. Here is um, my ISO file. So we should be good here. So I hit OK. And I'm going to connect to this one and then start it up. Hit start. And I probably have to be ready to hit the key. So when you're booting on a CD or DVD. If this one started at all. Does it have enough resources? It seems so. Press any key. Did I manage to do it? like it okay well uh, I'm actually gonna change my keyboard layout to French because that's what I have and go next and let's install uh, I'm gonna go with enterprise pro works also actually all these works whatever if you have a key but I'm gonna just use it for uh, testing terms next uh, install uh, Windows only I don't have anything I'll use all the 80 gigabyte Here, Windows 11 is booting up. And we're going to reset this one, so it's not so important what I choose. I'll choose the United States. Well, 
Didn't I choose French keyboard before? Ah, I'll put it here just in case. Because the keyboard is well. How do I know my alphabet? Shouldn't France French come here? Yes. Uh, we can definitely skip that. What's funny now, it's actually it's going out and looking for the hardware ID and looking to do um, autopilot, but we haven't imported the hardware ID, so Microsoft's going to say, I don't know about this machine, do a normal setup. Okay, we're going to take a different sign-in options. We're going to do domain join instead, but we're actually not going to join it to domain. So I'm just going to put in something admin. We're going to remove that later. Password. I'll put something simple. I'll put password with a zero. Let's see if it even accepts that. Probably you want uh, more complexity or maybe not. Seems like it's gonna accept that and that's a bad password I'm just gonna put very quickly security question what's your pet's first name I'll just put anything at this moment where's the name of the city you were born let's say Paris none of this is true and what's your childhood nickname Let's say master, not true either. I'm not going to use this anyway. I just want to get into the OS quickly in order that we can get the hardware ID. So actually, I'm usually some of these are good, but usually you should probably turn off a few of these. Don't let me accept. But again, we're going to reset this one. Okay, I have fast forward a bit to arrive here, but the total recording is 14 minutes. So you can do this uh, probably in less than 15 minutes. So I put in my very not secure password here and we are in. This one. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be our client. We're going to use it to um, Azure AD join, we're going to let uh, Intune manage this, we're even going to let uh, Intune uh, set up this machine with autopilot. So that's all I wanted in this video was just to set up a client. If you already had one, great. In the next video, we're going to extract the hardware ID and then reset the machine. See you there. Very good job. Thanks.